Hey there, fellow coders. Welcome to this series, uh, which I assume will be on YouTube, but it could be in other places as well. Uh, and the whole point of this series is to guide you step by step through the creation of a, uh, a real world, a Java app that we're using Spring Boot to build um, that will have a database and a uh, Java, obviously, application. Um, and its purpose will be to integrate with something called an API. Um, it's a, um, another application. So someone else's code, someone else's application, a whole other business's application has an API which allows me to ping them and say give me data back uh, that I want to be able to consume in other words to receive and then do something with um, so that I can actually you know do something useful with that data okay so I'll, I'll get into more details about what the app specifics are going to be what it will specifically do but I just wanted to record this little uh, intro video to give you an idea of um, the things that I'm going to make assumptions about this is what I hate I hate when people create series um, uh, free or paid or otherwise uh, that don't include any sort of preamble that talks about what I, what they expect you to know so this is me making sure that I have I set expectations so for this series um, this is a little bit more advanced. So if you're someone who's brand new to coding, this is not the series for you. You can go to my YouTube channel and we definitely have, uh, you know, uh, videos and lessons and tutorials and playlists that are more well suited to a beginner level. Um, if you're someone who's sort of intermediate level, you have an idea of how to, how to code with Java. Um, you understand the concept of a web application you understand, uh, what a database is and, and, and so on and so forth. If you have those high level understandings and maybe you struggle a little bit with putting them all together then this might be a good series for you okay so this is some this is for someone who understands already the concept of uh, spring who understands a little bit about what spring components are and how inversion of control works which means auto wiring um, so if you've already been you know had exposure to auto wiring and um, those kinds of things with the spring stuff and you're, you're a little bit familiar with how uh, SQL works uh, specifically we'll be using MySQL but hey if you use PostgreSQL or any relational database you know you should be comfortable here so yeah if that's you if that you have that sort of base understanding of code and how it fits together from a web application perspective or even uh, yeah struggle a little bit with how it fits together this is the series for you okay but like I said if you're a beginner if you're just starting to learn about what a variable is what for loops are what control structures are are what an if statement is no don't do this this is going to be way too advanced it's going to you know blow your mind up and and uh, like i said we have other series on our youtube channel for that just look up coders campus um you know and you'll you'll find us there and uh you'll be able to find i'm sure some sort of videos that are more your speed for beginners cool so without uh further ado uh, i will stop talking and we'll flip it over to the next video in this playlist um where we're going to start diving into getting everything set up with spring boot and the start.spring.io website so looking forward to seeing you there